celebrity energy where I help you unleash your inner celebrity. Today we are dedicating this session to my fave, Dracob. Yes, Drake is an icon, a living legend, in part because he is boldly original. And one thing that I think makes us iconic, I'm including myself in there, is that no matter how much hate he receives or love, blinding praise or blinding vitriol, he always does what he wants. He does himself. And I think that's what Beyonce and Taylor Swift and Jennifer Lopez, Billie Eilish, all of them have in common. They just shine as themselves. And who cares about the judgment? And most of us do. We're too terrified to do what we want. And they live in their desire. And there's something so admirable about that. So this works simple. Each album will be associated to a different oracle deck and thus a message. So if you choose this album, album, which was Nothing Was the Same, you remember the clouds. I think this album was the beginning of Drake's transition into like an artist that is highly original. You know a Drake song a mile away. A lot of his mixtapes were always good, but this was like, okay, now this is unique. And the Prism Oracle is, uh, I highly recommend this oracle for anyone that is absolutely looking um, into getting into oracles. It's simple, it's direct, and always uplifting. Next is the Sacred Rebels deck and Scorpion. I mean, this album was like 40 songs, good, bad, ugly, but 100% original. And it just felt like a display of not only his talents, but his thoughts, like what he thinks and feels about in music, how to play in the playground. And this is a really good deck for manifesting. And last but not least is honestly, never mind. It's one of my favorite albums. I don't think it got praised enough. It is so original and house and entrancing. And I think it solidified something that Drake and Beyonce have in common, which is that they will do any genre and make it their own. And that goes with the Citadel Oracle deck, a highly recommended deck, very accurate, all about who you are and the essence of you. So honestly, never mind. Or uh, the Citadel deck, whichever one resonates with you. It could be more than two piles. You can pick one and change it after. No fear. Scorpion and the Sacred or Oracles deck, or last but not least, nothing was the same and the Prism Oracle deck. Let's start with nothing was the same in the Prism Oracle deck, shall we? Ooh, are you feeling the Drake of Vibes? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's pull out, I like to pull out five simple to the point, whatever you need to hear. First up, reflection. Time to think, baby. And if you see, there's like two mics. I'm getting the feeling that this is very artisty. Trust. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. If there's one thing we need to do is trust. Caution, which totally makes sense. I mean, if you don't trust the world or yourself, you kind of F up a little bit more, which is totally nothing was the same when you think about it. I mean, Drake never gets the girl, does he? Never. Last but not least, illumination and actually last, rest. So instantly I got artisty, creative vibes, but I think ultimately what this message means is it's time for you to see how you don't trust yourself, how you need to trust yourself, and how that lack of trust in yourself is making you make mistakes or block yourself from the actual abundance that you deserve. And abundance isn't just about wealth, it's also about illumination. It's about your thought processes. It's about your enlightenment and seeing that your life it's kind of like somebody said, money defines your lifestyle, but happiness defines your life. I mean, listen, if you don't have money or resources or people or friends, things, it does affect you. It should make you sad. Of course it will make you sad, but it shouldn't make you only sad. Your life and your inheritance is joy and also peace, rest. So ultimately what this message is saying, AKA Drake of nothing was the same, is that it's time for you to realize that you will rest when you trust yourself. You can rest in your dreams, you can rest in what you want, and nothing will be the same once you trust that you can do anything. And caution will become illumination. So thank you, nothing was the same. I hope you enjoyed your message, and long live Jacob. Jacob.
Dracob. I don't know why I call him Jacob. Dracob. What am I doing? <laughs> Let's move on. Let's go into the Scorpions. Mm, they're going to be long. I really liked this album. People complained about how long it was, but I'm like, thank you. You know, it's like when you go to a comic book movie and it's three hours, but you paid $20 to get in. You paid $15 for a small popcorn and you snuck in your own Coke. The, the, the drug, I mean, not the soda. No. <laughs> okay, let's pick Scorpions. Mm. I love sound effects. Ooh, five, five, five. What do you feel? Ooh, you guys might be a little bit. You know, that always happens. And I noticed that with a lot of other um, readings. There's always a, a synchronicity and a, a, a similar thread between readings. And I always wondered, is it because you're picking up the cards or that because, um, because you're picking up the cards so close to each message or because people really are the same? This one feels a little bit more nuanced, though. The first thing you got was what do you feel? And I got more situational. And you got faith in the process upside down. Um, usually this means blocked intuition. Somebody who knows but doesn't realize. I get the feeling, but I don't follow it. Next came inspiration and visions of life beyond death. So whatever the situation that is intuitively and emotionally blocking you is making you feel less inspired about life, less inspired about how you can live, and in turn making you not see that life goes beyond here, now. You will die, and I know that's pretty negative and that's horrible, um, but it's also not, it's true and it's real. And it's also beautiful. If you believe in reincarnation, I do past life Oracle readings, check out astrolove.blog if you'd like a personal reading. But my point is when you realize you don't have forever on this earth, you're going to start living your present. Like it's more eternal. Like you're going to do what you want, feel what you want. And whatever this situation is, I'm getting the feeling that it has to do with people. Often situations do my little score. Scorpions, um, it is blocking you from seeing that you have a life, that you are meant to live, and you are meant to live the way you want, and that's why ultimately you land on releasing allegiances. Number 10. 10 is a number about commencing, hard work. One is a manifestation, zero is new beginnings. So whatever this situation is, it is making you feel like you are tied to it, like you have to resolve it. And you're almost drainingly loyal to it and irrationally so, because if you are cutting off your life for a moment, then you're completely forgetting that you don't have forever. So that's your message, Scorpions. Good luck. Good to the luck. Good to the luck. And next up, honestly, never mind. Let me get my Citadel deck. Oh, it's right in front of me. This is one of my favorite albums. I wonder if this message is gonna relate to me. Do 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 do. Ooh, ooh, I like it. You know, it makes sense. You're getting these cards. You're getting the witch which is experimentation, rebellion, the dancer, self-expression, strength, the mascarere, hiding your true self, and the cartographer, a crossroads. God, there's a lot of like artists, creative energy, and last but not least, the enchanter. Okay, so you got three upside down. Um, you got the witch upside down, which is rebellion. You got the masquerade upside down, which is projection, hiding your true self. So obviously if upright, upside down, what this is means is that you are, you're at a crossroads right now. You're at a point in your life where you have to decide, maybe this is for me, are you going to be you? Are you going to do what you want? Are you going to live that life that you've always wanted? Are you going to express yourself? Are you going to leave the friends that aren't friends? Are you going to leave the lovers that aren't love? Are you going to leave the job that isn't really working? What are you going to do? Because you've been planning, you've been talking, but you haven't been acting. And that's why the dancer comes out and also, oh my God, my dog is just like totally sneezing. Okay. 
That was so scary. That's why the dancer comes out and of course the enchanter, deception, trickery, self-expression, strength. So whoever picked this pile, you are blocked. And it's kind of getting the feeling that the blockage is more you than what you think. Fear, doubts, a belief that if I express who I am, I will lose. Nobody will watch. It will be responded with indifference. But the truth is you're being indifferent. You are being indifferent with you. And this trickery isn't just in the form of others, but it's in the form of how you lie to yourself, how you are elusive. You need to be delusional, not elusive, illusional. You know, I say that illusions are making yourself believe that what you don't want, you could want. And delusion is about making yourself believe that what you want wants you back. That's why people say be delusional. So this message is ultimately, it's time for you to be delusional. Stop lying to yourself. Stop saying you're doing when you don't. And 